Dear Sony, I wrote to you and you still ain't calling. I left my PS5 hands-on request right there at the bottom. I sent you the letters way ahead of autumn, you must not have got them. There was probably a mix-up at the post office or something. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at pie kicking. We're going to be looking at his hands-on approach to the PS5. Because guess what? None of us are getting a hands-on like approach to the PS5. So we might as well see what, what, what there is on offer, you know? I figured this would be a good react. I'm reacting to someone reacting. It's getting all a little bit meta. But here we go. Wow. He's a big boy. He's a very, very big boy. It looks... You know what? I wasn't sold on the white at first, but it, it, the, the white the white's kind of doing its thing, man. The white's kind of doing its thing. It's like the... um The PS4 controller is a very nice feel. Uh, the one thing it slightly lacks compared to the Xbox is a little bit of size. That's just personally for someone that's played on Xbox for a while. Um, while it does fit in your hand, it feels like it could be maybe like a, a, a few centimeters bigger just to really grip in there. And this looks like it's just filled that space out a little bit more. What I like about this evolution is right now, this 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 is Freezer's final form, you know? This looks like Freezer's final form, the controller and, and the console, and I really I really do like the look of it. He's he's loving it. And also, there's something about his look that I'd... Uh, so, something about a dude with these thick-rimmed glasses that I can't help but respect. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to touch it for the first time. Hey, <laughs> they didn't let him touch it. Just do it, just do it, bro, just do it, just do it. Be a man. Be a man. Touch it. His nose touched it. His nose, his nose bloody touched it. They, they made a joke that he can't touch it. Look, watch his nose touch this right here. His nose definitely touched it, man. There we go, there we go. Imagine your first touch of the console being with your nose. But you know what? He's smelling out greatness right here. He's smelling out greatness. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget that meme that's like good pussy. <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm just gonna find the tweet and just put it up because I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Right, we've seen the hands on. He's loving it. Astro's Playroom, the demo. Let's get into this. Oh, we got the haptic triggers, right? Is that is that the correct term? He's dreaming. Slap me, I'm dreaming. I know that one. So that's the jetpack. All right, we got we got more control on the touchpad. Draw a picture. Draw draw a picture. Wow, they loaded they loaded them in there. Full 360 control. Alright. Oh yeah, the blow feature. And sound? Works with sound as well? <laughs> you can sing on that bitch! Let's go, baby! Wow. Flick him out of there. Flick him out. Just send him on his way. Nice. <laughs> you know what, man? Like, you don't even need to know Japanese to know that this dude is having the time of his life already. Like, already. And that's that's the beautiful thing about gaming. Gaming is universal, you know? Um, we saw this a little bit in the Minecraft Live yesterday where they were talking about that, uh, you know, play for peace where they get people from uh, opposing sides, different countries and stuff, sort of, to play a game and use that as their common language. And, and it's, it's really beautiful to see this, this, this global moment right here where everyone...
everyone can just get excited, you know, that is, I don't, I, I don't care for which console you're going for, as long as you can get that feeling within your community, then everyone's doing the right thing, you know, because that's what gaming should always be about, as much as we want to rip each other down online, and with memes, and all that good stuff, right, it's great to see just, just this general buzz around the world right now, especially in a time where everybody needs it, man, everybody needs it. I don't know why my computer keeps autoing. Jeez, there we go. Nice. This looks, this looks great for cartoony, you know? Looks, looks very, very good for cartoony. You got that little rubber ring you get in Fortnite now when you get knocked down in the water. I respect it. Yeah, run out. Run, run, run. Punch, punch. <laughs> I love that. Is that how... That's, that's the, that's the jetpack sound. Beom. One death. <laughs> it's nice to know. It's nice to know I share more in common with this dude than just some thick-rimmed glasses, you know? <laughs> First death. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Wind's gonna blow him back here, right? You're gonna, you're gonna have to fight against that wind. You can, you can hear it blowing against you. Nice, nice. Level up, baby. Zip that shit up. Hey, them, them God of War quick time sex scenes are about to get real interesting. You know what I'm saying? If you can zip it up, if you can zip it up, you can zip it down. I mean, this is a great example of all of the capabilities that the controller does. And this is a better hands-on than the Games Award one right here. Like, let's be real. There's no shade or anything, but this is, like, this is a lot more exciting. There's a better, better angle on the controller right here. <laughs> I'm not I don't want to steal his entire video right so we're we're gonna skip through some of these features here because like it's it's it would be rude to just react to the entire thing we need to make sure we're chopping this up and just having a look at what's going on that was a test of the controller I want to see a test of the capabilities of the ps5 so let's go having a good look around right here Nice, you got a little, you got, got a little dodge back step, heavy, heavy stab. I'm guessing. We got a slash in there. We got a slide in there. Nice, we got a slide. All right. So what we got? Slide. Nice. Boom. There's the slash, slash, heavy, slash, slash, slash. Nice, 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 nice. A lot of particle work going on in here. Everything's got this nice shine to it. You know, it's got this great shine. Um, and this is something I keep trying to point out. It all. It all looks squeaky, squeaky clean and new, you know? The color array, it's very autom autumnus would be the word, I guess. But I like it a lot. All right, you can block. It's got the block going. Nice, 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 nice little shield right there. Boom with the parry, baby. If you can block it, you can parry it. That's, that's, you know? Nice. Nice. Deal with ranged attacks, no problem. I think the art style for Godfall doesn't allow to bring out 100% that sort of next-gen look. That might just be me personally. I still think it looks great, but I think there's a little bit where it's like, you know, the brights are up a bit too high. But then if you look around and you look at the little pieces of detail that you can actually find, like look at this sword for a second. Look, look, look at the shine over here. Like if you look in the right places, even the way the shadows cast and stuff like that, you can actually start to see it really starting to look very, very good. Um, and, you know, that's that's what we're looking for. You look, look at this little bit of sort of um, water stained down here on the rocks, like, you know, and it's... It's, it, it's, it's, the particles are a good example as well. Um, what I said about Miles Morales, that really brought out. The Miles Morales really used its environment to bring out sort of, uh, what, what, what you can expect from the next gen. But at the same time, like this, this game looks pretty damn, if you look for the right places on it and stuff, the shines, the, the sort of reflection feel we're getting from the metals and stuff and the general lighting and stuff, it looks pretty damn good. Um, the stones as well, the stone on the ground actually looks like, kind of like, uh, marble-esque. Which is cool. 
Oh, you look at the, you look at the reflection on on that big metal piece right there. Oh dear, big boss time. Big boss time. You know, as a big boss, he's got a huge weapon and a fancy suit. Let's see how it. Let's see how he does. All right, nice. This is a huge environment as well. I like the depth of the environment around us as well. It looks it looks great. Yeah, slide, baby. Slide to the left. Oh, look out, though. You got, you got, you got to look. You got to be careful, son. All right. Oh, this is this is great. This is this is how I'd play. This is how this is how I'd play. Look out. Run. Yeah. Yeah. When in doubt, run on out. Don't let him hit you. He's getting a charge ready. Look out, boy. Nice. Oh no, what is he doing? Yeah, 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 <laughs> run man. A little rain of fire there, look out. He's got no health at all, he's gone. He is gone. What's the load time saying, babe? I think they sped that up a little bit, but I have seen on Twitter earlier that the, the loading screens are basically non-existent, which is incredible. Okay. All right, this this is a better example, right? Look at how much we've got going on here. Look at how much we've got going on here. I really like it, you know? Great. The, 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 the set design, as opposed to the artwork, is incredible. All right, Longsword, dude. He's scrapping someone else. You just came in and just... You just, you just stole his kill. Alright, we got an array. Has he got a new weapon? It looks like you can get a lot of weapons in this game, which I'm lucky. I'm liking. Yes! Yes! We're going R3 move like a finisher? Do it. Do it. Do the R3 move. Punch him out of there! Yes. Yes. There we go. There's some. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. He's excited. I'm excited, and you're excited. Yeah, this is a big. This is a big. Okay, this is a real boss. Look at his. Look at his health level, right? <laughs> Run, bro. Hit him up. Nice. This is a lot of mechanics to deal with. Good block in there. Get off of the fire. Get out of it. Oh, did he just do a little? This is, he just did the little self heal thing right there. <laughs> He's hiding. This is me. This is this is all me right here. This, this is this is how I would yep. Yeah. Just just if he can't see you, he can't hurt you. He's coming though. <gasps> nice! In, oh no, don't go back in the fire! That would be me as well. What is he doing? What is he doing? Bro. Bro. You can do this, man. You've got full health. Don't fuck it up. I like everything I see. I'm not being super biased or anything. Like I said, Godfall is one of the games that I'm not 100% sold on. But watching that, I think it looks uh, it looks like it's going to be enjoyable. Um, like overall, I think, it, I think it will be massively quite enjoyable. The array of weapons you've got going on. Yes, it's got a little bit of a God of War feel. But you can, can you blame it? It's called Godfall, you know? Um, but it's doing its own thing as well at the same time. And it's got like, it looks like it's got a big array of weapons. Um, and it looks like it should have a fair amount of different environments which all look enjoyable one thing that was a little bit upsetting about god of war is seeing that there was so much other places and some of them we couldn't even travel to you know i really wanted to see more of that but i'm sure we'll see that in the next god of war which i'm massively looking forward to astros did a great job of as i'm saying showing off the controller even more um so there's a lot to look forward to i personally think i can't wait to get my hands on this in just over a month and 20 ish days almost or under 20 ish days uh Thank you so much, you know, Hikakin, Hikakin, for um, for, for for this opportunity. Sony giving him this opportunity and us being able to have a look, have a better in-depth look at what's going on. And I think one thing that speaks 
more than anything that I can say for this excitement level is if I'm getting excited and you're getting excited by us watching someone else play and get excited, then they are doing the right thing. And that has been the most admirable thing. And the reason why I wanted to pick up a PS4 the first place, because when I saw how excited the actual developers are and everybody around this console and the previous generation, the PS4 as well, not only the fan base, but the developers as well. Um, Everybody really loves what they are doing and that just creates a great environment for the players and the audience overall. So you know what I mean? This 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 is this is a great time to be any sort of gamer as I've said because everything's being pushed forward by friendly healthy competition, but overall I'm so happy I've secured my PS5. I cannot wait for it to turn up in the goddamn post. But you know, you should you, Sony you should you should have sent me one quicker, baby.